Hey, hi. If you're working in a software industry, then one word you must have been heard so many times. The business logic. So what is this business logic? So it's actually a simple. The logic of the business is the business logic. Okay. So what it is doing in softwares? So let me tell you. Basically, why the softwares are? The softwares are to reduce the human efforts. Basically, softwares are always used for business purpose. Okay. So it solves certain business problem. Okay. For example, uh, consider a tours and travel company. For example, make my trip. Okay. So what make my trip is doing? You have a website wherein you can choose your from date to date. You know departure date. Then you choose your city to uh, from city to city, and then click on search. So if you are searching for the flights, you will get the different flights over there, right? If you are searching for hotels, you will get list of hotels over there, right? And based on their ratings, based on their uh, pricing, whatever suits for you, you select that, and you know you choose that, and your purpose is solved. Also, you can make payment over there as well. So this is actually a software. For a for for a travels company, okay, a company which is in travels domain. So they have a business idea. So what make my trip thought that we will have such a platform wherein people can come and they can search for the hotels, they can search for the flights, or they can search for any travel plan over there. Okay, and we will recommend them. A travel plan, and we can take a payment for that particular travel plan. Okay, and the Make My Trip earns from that. So this is the business of Make My Trip, and using a software that is the web application that 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 you use. So using that web application, they conduct their whole business. Okay, so doing a reservation, giving the search results, taking payments, and making you the trip available. Is the business flow or the business logic of Make My Trip dot com? Let me tell you one more example. So I I also work for a, a catering service provider. So what he used to do, he has you know a big store wherein he he is keeping all the vegetables and you know grocery. Then he has some fixed suppliers. So from certain fixed suppliers, he gets the You know groceries and vegetables. Then, as per the order, right? He has different fixed clients. Like some multinational companies are there, some colleges are there, wherein uh, that catering service provider provides the food. They have a list of their clients, and you know, as per the order or as per the requirement, they prepare a food, and they you know provide to that. Uh, they provide the food to their clients. also they have taken cert, certain mess uh, on contract basis so they are they decide what would be there on weekdays what would be there on weekends right so they decide a fixed menu there and serves the food so whatever i just talk about the catering services so it is their business logic the way they do the business fine so to bring certain ease in their business they have built a software of course by going to the software company and uh, and yes of course our company was one of them so we build a software wherein they can add their suppliers they can add their clients they can you know add the raw materials they can maintain the stock there right whenever the order comes they uh, you know withdraw some stock from uh, their inventory and uh, prepare the food right so the menu is already um, put into their system everything that they do in their business right that is actually implemented in this software so we can say that their business logic is implemented in a software right so so ultimately the business logic of a software is nothing but the flow or the algorithm of that particular software system exactly as per the business okay so i hope this might have given you a certain idea about what is a business logic fine so this was amol uzagre signing off thank you very much we will meet in the next video